The remaining charges of conspiracy and misconduct have been dropped against former Governor Carl Guterres and former Retirement Fund Director John Rios. This morning, Superior Court Judge Richard Benson granted Attorney Mike Phillips' motion to dismiss all charges and counts against the defendants. Phillips, who represents Rios in the case, says he's happy the trial and jury selection process is over. You may recall Guterres and Rios were accused in the alleged scheme to pad the former governor's retirement benefits by $30,000 a year. Last month, Judge Benson dropped theft and fraud charges against the two. Phillips says his defense team, comprised of attorneys Darlene Heighton and Rick Bordalio, as well as Guterres' attorneys, worked long hours these past few weeks to see this case through. He adds what's important to note about the decision is the court found that substantively the prosecution couldn't prove the allegations. And so when you read this opinion, you'll see it's very clear. He's not saying that the prosecution failed to allege this and therefore the, you know, the case is dismissed, try again. He's saying that what I said before is true. And that is that uh, the prosecution's unable to prove any set of facts that will show that the defendants violated Guam law. While he says in the end the defendants didn't violate Guam law, he does mention nothing is really barring a prosecutor from filing a complaint again or obtaining another indictment. The test, of course, for filing the complaint is real simple. It's do you carry it over to the court and file it. Uh, anybody can do that. But the test of whether the, the indictment, uh, like in this case, can uh, uh, sustain a motion to dismiss, well, that's a much higher standard and I don't believe that the prosecution will ever be able to meet that standard. It just have the wrong case, wrong defendants, and wrong set of facts. Uh, definitely have the wrong interpretation of the retirement laws uh, of Guam. Phillips also says the question of whether the judge will entertain the motion to dismiss the indictment is still in the air, but he adds that would possibly be determined at a later date. As for his future and political aspirations, the attorney still won't confirm if he is running for governor in this election. However, Phillips does point out this case and the COLA case seem to be wrapping up around the same time. It, it's real interesting that both these cases uh, appear to uh, come to a very uh, successful resolution on the same day. And, and I guess I'll leave it at that.